family members' houses, and I remember the show RuPaul's Drag Race was playing on the TV. Who's familiar with the show RuPaul's Drag Race? Raise your hand. So uh, RuPaul's Drag Race is a show where um, drag queens come together, males, they dress as a woman and, you know, do a whole bunch of craziness. And I remember watching this stuff on the TV, and I, I remember one of the elders who was watching me looking at the TV said, turn that stuff off before this little boy decides to do the same things. And from there on, the curiosity and confusion of my identity began. Um, <clears throat> fast forward to when I was 13 years old, uh, two of my peers introduced me to pornography. And from there on, I started watching it, you know, from time to time. And one day roaming the internet, I came across gay porn. And uh, watching gay porn, uh, the spirit of homosexuality started to really have its way in my life. Uh, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 how our eyes are the lamp to our body. And if you allow darkness into your eyes, you allow darkness into your body. So that's literally what happened to me as a child. And um, going into high school, I started hanging around the wrong crowd, uh, got into weed smoking, um, a whole bunch of craziness. And um, I played basketball, so I would try to hide my sexuality by playing sports. And um, fast forward to when I was 17 years old, I, got, I started to enact on the things that were introduced to me as a child. And I got in a down low secret homosexual relationship with two males who planned on tra later transitioning to females. And I was doing this behind closed doors. Nobody knew about it. Um, going forward to my senior year of high school, I ended up getting a college basketball scholarship. I went to college and now I don't have my parents around. You know, I had no standard. So I was having, I was dating this girl at the time. We were having sex. I was having sex with men and women at the same time, drinking. Um, and that lifestyle, it just never brought any peace. It never brought any joy. <clears throat> so my, uh, my first year of college, I ended up quitting basketball. My second year, I, I went in and I was just like, I was going through a lot. I had a 0 0.66 GPA. Um, I was dealing with heavy anxiety, depression. I couldn't look at people in the eyes. I was just so lost. And I remember what my parents had trained me up. Like the Bible talks about how um, you're supposed to train up a child in the word and the word would never leave them. And so I remember my, my parents teaching me about God and I said to myself, like, I tried the weed, I tried the drugs, I tried all the things to try to fulfill my, my life, but I feel empty. You know, I, I'm going to try Jesus. And um, one day in February of 2021, I said a prayer. I said, Lord Jesus, I know if I die tonight, I got a free ticket in my pocket to hell. But the only way I'm going to serve you is if you show me that you're real. And um, I knew if I became a Christian, because I grew up in the church, I knew if I became a Christian, I was going to have to give up the fornication, the homosexuality, the drugs, all these things. But I knew that I, I just didn't want to give it up for a fake God, you know. So I said, you know, I, I just want I just want you, God, to show me that you are real. Um, around this time period, I believe in soul ties because the Bible talks about it and I've experienced it myself. Um, the people I was having, the men I was having sex with, since they wanted to transition to females, I started to have that same spirit within me to become a female. And uh, around this time, I was buying heels, getting my nails done, um, dressing like a woman and stuff like that. And um, one day I was hanging out with one of my peers and I left that place and I was going back home and I went inside my truck. And that day I had a, a crop top, a jean jacket, silk pants, and white acrylic toenails. I was probably possibly going to turn into a, a female, a transition to a female. And I went into my truck, and when I went to turn the key, I felt a presence in my truck. And when I looked to the passenger side, the Holy Spirit just, boom, hit me right there. And I felt the presence of God so strongly, I started to get emotional. And I literally lifted my hands in, the, in, in, the, in, in my truck in February of 2021. I said, Lord, I give the homo homosexuality up. I give the drugs up. I give the pornography up. I give all that stuff up, you know. And um, ever since that day, I haven't gone back to homosexuality, drugs, uh, pornography. I've been completely delivered. God's completely changed my life. Um, today, I'm married to my beautiful wife, Caroline, who's in the front row right here. Yes. Uh, next next Thursday we'll be celebrating our first year of marriage, and so so uh, I have a I have a special place in my heart for the LGBTQIA plus community because I used to be in that lifestyle. So my message to them in this month and, and throughout the rest of my life is: if he could deliver me from the stuff that he's delivered me from, he can do it for anybody. I'm not special. I'm not. I'm not somebody, I'm, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody that saved my soul. And that man is Jesus. 
so I'm proud to be delivered. To my brothers and sisters, living a LGBTQIA plus lifestyle. Jesus Christ loves you so much. God doesn't want you to go to hell. And I love you so much to tell you that if you don't repent and turn away from every sin that you may be practicing, that you will perish in everlasting hell fire. God's word says in 2 Peter 3, 9, that it's his will that no one should perish, but that all should come to repentance. As an ex-homosexual, I come here to give you hope, to tell you that if he could deliver me, he could deliver you too. I know what it is to feel lost. I know what it is to be in bondage. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7:14 that if my people who are called by my name were to repent and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Some of y'all listening to this message right now feel a rush in your bones to give your life to Christ. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is near and those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank you.